Stained glass windows add beauty and light to places of worship. Over time, exposure to the elements and pollution can cause the glass, metal framework, and glazing to deteriorate. Restoration ensures the survival of these sacred works of art for future generations. It starts with a thorough evaluation. An assessor photographs the window. She examines every part as well as measures the panes and connecting lead strips known as cames. These cames are in bad shape, so they'll need to completely disassemble the panel and rebuild it. First, they make a rubbing. A member of the team places a large sheet of paper over the back of the window. He rubs a wax crayon over the raised lead strips to transfer the pattern of the panes. After testing the condition of the paint on the panes, he submerges the glass in a non-acidic cleaning solution and leaves it overnight. This softens the glazing cement between the lead strips so the window can be easily disassembled. He extracts the glass and cleans off the glazing using a straight-edged razor. Most of the panes are in good condition and can be preserved, but one is fractured and held together with special conservation tape. They'll need to replace it. A craftsperson traces the outline of the cracked piece onto a new piece of glass, then cuts the glass along the tracing lines. She copies the designs onto the new pane and mixes a matte paint that matches the one on the broken pane. She then shades the designs on the new pane with the matte paint. She removes some of the paint following the designs on the pane. This creates highlights. She fires the glass in a hot kiln and then lowers the temperature to anneal it. She joins all the stained glass panes using new lead canes. She taps the panes gently with a rubber mallet to fit them snugly into the grooves of the canes. Using an electric soldering iron, she melts tin and lead solder where the channeled lead strips intersect. Another team member applies glazing cement across the front and back of the stained glass panel. He sprinkles calcium carbonate onto the wet cement. It's known as whiting. The whiting soaks up excess oil in the glaze. As he brushes it off, it cleans and polishes the panel. Finally, he vacuums up the glazing residue. It's taken about a week to restore this stained glass window. It should last another century or more, providing plenty of opportunities for spiritual reflection.